Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at an update to Overcast, which just came out today. You can download it right now. And I wanted to take a look at five things that I think are notable in this update. I'm doing it kind of as a visual release note, so you can just read the release notes and check it out for yourself. But I wanted to show you kind of what's there so you get an idea for what's there. So let's go through the new changes. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is theming. You now have some theming options in Overcast. You can see it's not orange like it typically is. So if I, minimize the player, go to my settings. I have a theme section here and I can choose the accent color for light mode and dark mode. So I could change it to red and now the UI is going to be red, right? I can change it to whatever color I want and it's going to just change to that. So I kind of like this uh, kind of bluish one. And then if I go to dark mode, which I can set to always be active, it's gonna be yellow themed, right? So you can change it based on light mode and dark mode. You can have dark mode always be enabled. All that works really nicely, and I think it just adds a little bit of customization that I really appreciate. Also, you saw it briefly here, there is a new home screen. So the home screen has been updated. There's a few things of note here. First off, the playlists look a little different, and you can also drag and drop them to reorder them in the list. So this is really nice. Uh, you can also see a list of recent episodes. So these are going to be podcasts that have new episodes recently released, or ones that you have started playing and can resume. Also, if you press and hold on any of these recent episodes, you can get some of the show notes and then do a few actions on the episode. Additionally, you're gonna see all of your subscriptions down here as well. And you're gonna see all of your active ones here. If you tap this one, you're gonna see just episodes or podcasts, I should say, with unplayed episodes. And over here, you have inactive shows. So I have a couple of shows that haven't posted in a long time. Overcast thinks these might be inactive. So I can just go ahead and swipe over and delete them if I want, but I have confidence both of these will come back. So I'm just gonna keep that there. Additionally, a very small thing, these are alphabetically ordered, but maybe there's a podcast that you are more into than others and you wanna make sure it's at the top of the list so you can check it more easily. If you go into it, go to settings, there's pin to top of list. If you hit that and go back to the main page, you're gonna see that show is now always at the top of your list of podcasts. Thing number three is playlists. Playlists got a few updates as well. So you can see I have newest and downloaded, and these are two playlists that I have. And if I go into downloaded, for example, you can see here's the episodes. The list view is actually a little smaller. Episodes take up less space, which I think is appreciated by me for sure, and maybe by you as well. Uh, but you can go into edit, and if you edit the playlist settings, you can change the icon by tapping here. And it looks like it's using SF symbols, but there's quite a few here. You can type to search for one, or you can select a category. All this is really nice, really easy. And you can also set a specific color. So maybe I want these to be like a, we'll do dark purple, right? So now it's dark purple. And if I go back to the home screen, you can see it's dark purple. So a little bit more control over your playlist. Additionally, if you wanna set up a really common one, so let's go ahead and delete this one for downloads. Now I just have my own custom one. If I go to the add playlist page, you can see I can create a smart playlist, a manual playlist like normal, but there's also some custom ones here that people tend to select. So if I wanna see all my downloaded episodes like I just did, hit downloaded, it automatically creates one for me with those rules. Now, if I go into my list of podcasts and I see like John talks to the media, blah, 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 um, I can not only delete it like I used to be able to, but I can also mark episodes as played now. So if I hit that as played, it's gonna take it off my device out of the list. And if I go to the show in my list, wherever it is, there it is, uh, you'll see a check mark next to the episodes that I've listened to versus nothing next to the ones that were just deleted. So going forward, this will help. But since I didn't listen to these previously, it's not going to show them as check marks. So that's a nice little update as well. And finally, if I go into settings and go into nitpicky details, there's an option to open links in Safari. So in show notes for a podcast, you can have things open directly in Safari, which I think is nice. Uh, if I go in here, uh, there's no links there. Is there a link here? Nope, no links here. Here we go, here's some links. So uh, if I want to actually just open these, uh, there we go. This will open directly in YouTube. It looks like it supports deep links, which is great. But I could just go to the website to, oops, the website, and there we go. So now we're just going to the web in Safari. Personally, I would always basically open it in the Safari view controller in Overcast and then open it uh, again in Safari, which was kind of a pain. So it's nice to be able to just open them directly in the browser. Uh, this should also respect your default browser as well. So if you have like Chrome set up, it should open there. But yeah, those are some of the updates to Overcast. Not massive, but a few quality of life things that I think make the app better for me and hopefully some of them appeal to you as well. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.